So Donald Trump continues to show that he is by far the most pathetic, the most delusional ex-president in American history. Last night at Mar-a-Lago, his fancy private club for millionaires and billionaires, he took time out of an event, all the guests there, not to entertain them, not to welcome them, not to congratulate them, but to rant and whine and cry and complain about the 2020 election. You got to see this clip. Let's see what they find. I wouldn't be surprised if they found thousands and thousands and thousands of votes. So we're going to watch that very closely. And after that, you'll watch Pennsylvania and you watch Georgia and you're going to watch Michigan and uh, Wisconsin and you're watching New Hampshire. They found a lot of votes up in New Hampshire just now. You saw that. Because this was a rigged election, everybody knows it, and we're going to be uh, we're going to be watching it very closely. But start off by you just take a look. It's on. It's on closed circuit. I guess it's on all over the place because everyone's talking about yesterday front page of the New York Times. They didn't want to write it, but that's because they thought they were going to have a negative uh, decision, and the judge gave them gave us a positive decision. Let's and so that was Donald Trump again, supposedly there to entertain his guests supposedly there to treat them right, to say thank you for coming to my very expensive, very exclusive club, and instead he's ranting about the election. Guys, this dude lost, and he's not even ranting about the things he ranted about before. Now he's talking about this BS Arizona audit, and now he's talking about New Hampshire. He's talking about New Hampshire, guys. He was never talking about New Hampshire before. It was, it was Pennsylvania, it was Michigan, it was Arizona, it was Georgia. Never New Hampshire. Like, he's just making stuff up like never before. And there's a couple points of significance here. One, I am more and more convinced that while Donald Trump was always about the grift, and is still about the grift, he believes his own lies. There was a group of people, not unreasonably so, that suggested that Donald Trump always knew he lost, that he always knew that the election was over when it was called for Biden, but just couldn't admit it. Uh, you know, couldn't admit it in public because it was embarrassing and also couldn't admit it because it stopped the grift because he was getting all of these donations based on an effort to protect his supposed victory. But now I'm honestly convinced that this man, you know, maybe his cognitive decline and all these sorts of things has tricked himself into believing his own lies. And I'm not, I don't feel sorry for Donald Trump, but there is something very pathetic very sad on a human level to watch a man just be so, you know, absorbed by his own fantasies and lies and delusions. But again, I don't want you to feel bad for Trump because so long as this man who is the 2024 GOP frontrunner, you might not think it's ultimately going to happen, but the polls show that it's likely to, at least as of right now, he continues to spread these lies. And as long as he continues to do that, American democracy cannot heal. And so ultimately we can laugh at Trump, but we cannot ignore him. Don't let people try to tell you that we have to move on from Trump. He's the most powerful man in the Republican party, and he's still the biggest enemy of the American democracy.